this one, I'm going to do in a citrus shad pattern. Um, citrus shad is one of my all-time favorite colors, um, especially on deep divers. There's something about those colors in the deep water that just will trigger a, a big bite. So I'm going to do kind of a traditional shad pattern, but using those fluorescent greens and yellows, and then uh, that you know traditional darker blue top with the white sides. Then I'll give it a little uh, spritzing, if you will, of the pearl to uh, make those colors pop. I might actually use a pearl blue on top to, to achieve the blue. But, uh, and then we'll do the little orange belly and we'll see how it goes. I've never done a citrus shad pattern before, but I like it and I want one, so I'm gonna do it. So first thing we're going to do is that fluorescent along the back and down the sides about a little less than halfway. We'll heat set that and give it a second coat because I like to do that and then we'll be ready for the next color. Heat set, I'm going to give it another little quick coat especially along the back and the sides there. I know there's a lot of people that would probably say you don't need to do that. You know, it's unnecessary, um, but you know, I'd prefer to do it that way just to get the pattern a little bolder and, you know, get it kind of the way I want it. And, you know, the cool thing about doing this is you're not playing by a set of rules here. You just do it the way you feel most comfortable, whatever makes you kind of happy and, you know, uh, your comfort level. And my comfort level says I want to do two coats. So... That's just what I'm gonna do. So there's that second coat, pretty even on the side there down. Same over there. Um, I think it looks good. We'll heat set this second coat and then we'll be ready to move on. You know what, I screwed up and I didn't do the bottom and the bottom needs to be that yellow too. So I'm gonna shoot that real quick. We'll heat set, we'll do that second coat, and then we'll move on. Okay, so I decided that I really like the way that last one turned out with the pattern. So I'm gonna take this citrus shad and I'm gonna coat the back and that fluorescent green, which will leave this fluorescent yellow just exposed. And then we'll come back with that blue and I'll do the fading like I did before. So we'll create that cool pattern on the back of the citrus shad then we'll be able to do the orange and the pearl and she'll be badass. So here we go. Just to be clear, I'm only gonna be doing this section here. There'll be a little overspray, which is fine. Um, not intentionally going for a lot of overspray. So I turn the pressure down and I'm just gonna kind of be going straight up and down, coating that back section. And we'll do a couple of coats like I often like to do little bit of overspray on the sides, very little. Just kind of matching with that yellow, leaving that yellow exposed still on the bottom. And this stuff looks pretty good. Um, I don't know that I need to do another coat, but I'm gonna. So I'm just gonna do another light little spray right along the back. I'm not gonna fade it all this time. And that's it. Heat set and we'll move on to the blue. Now remember the trick with this is just going on that one angle, right? So I'm gonna kind of tilt this to the side because I can work with it a little bit better. Maybe, maybe not. Um, so I'm going with that cobalt blue. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just work it straight back on this angle like this. And then I'm going, I'm, I'm still debating on that pearl color because I think that pearl could look really cool. Thank you. 
and I am going to do that coat of that pearl. Um, I just think it would look really cool um, and it'll give it a little bit of a flash. I don't know. I'm a little weird like that. I think that on these deep divers, having something that'll pop with the light a little bit is not a bad idea. So I'm going to rinse everything out, um, heat set that and go with that pearl for a quick little shot. And maybe I'll just do a couple of quick passes on it and then we'll call that good. Okay, the pearl is loaded. I think my air pressure's off a little bit. I ah, know it's good. It was a little low on the last spray, so um, I think that's why we ended up with more of a green back there. But so here we go on that weird angle. Okay, let's heat set and we'll see what we got. Kind of jacked to see how this turned out. Um, I do have to do the orange on the bottom, but we have to heat set and then pull that off before I do the orange. So, okay, heat set's done. That's from the last one. We can reuse that stuff. I just didn't want to put that orange on top of that fluorescent yellow. And that. That pearlized blue does a good job. I like the way that looks. Okay, so same trick as before. Just gonna kind of peel this away and slowly give it a little pull. Uh, make sure it's off of that. And then we'll peel this back. <laughs> oh man. Look at that thing. That is a wicked citrus shad. All right, I am going to do the little orange hazing on the bottom. It's all loaded up and ready to go, and this sucker will be done. Wow, I dig the top. I'm just kind of going right back to about that eyelet, that hook, that hook tie. I'm gonna heat set, I'm gonna hit it again, and this sucker will be done. All right, all right, so here it is with the eyes on it. I will clear coat this, I'll get some more pictures and video once it's done, but I think that looks pretty good. That's a pretty crazy cool bait. Um, I enjoyed painting that, that was fun. I think that sucker is a fish catcher. That looks awesome or my take on the citrus shad. And I, I tell you what, man, those colors really pop on top. I'm really glad I put that uh, pearlized blue on top. It really made that bait turn out really well. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. I hope you're enjoying these painting videos. Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, I appreciate the support, and we'll see you next video.